Okay, we're back with another formula that we need to solve. And remember, there's always several options that you have for solving equations like this when they're quadratic equations. See that x squared and the x? But in this example, we're going to go after the quadratic formula. We're not going to try any of the other techniques. I know the quadratic formula always works. It doesn't mean it's always the easiest way, but it means it always gives us an answer. So what I'm going to do first is get everything on one side. And to do that, I'm going to say minus 12x. Okay, because I want to have a zero on one side. And what this is going to give me when I rewrite my equation is x squared. Uh, let's write this in standard form. x squared minus 12x plus 35. Okay, and that equals zero. And now when I write it in standard form, I can see very clearly that I have one as my a value right here. Okay, so that's a equals one. And my b value, I can see next in line, that's this negative 12 bit. So that's b. And my last number in the lineup is c. And that's 35. And now using the quadratic formula, which I hope everyone's remember, this is x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. I'm going to fill in the parts of that formula corresponding to a, b, and c. So we'll start with c. So that only goes in one spot in the formula. It's over here at the end. That's 35. And next I have b, which goes in several places. Uh, I have a negative 12 right here and a negative 12 right here. And then I've got some a's that need to get sorted out. So my a value is 1. That's pretty easy. Uh, there's a 1 and there's a 1. So now it comes to simplifying. And I'll do the easiest parts first. Negative, negative 12 right here. Very simple. That just flips the sign and makes it positive 12. 2 times 1 on the bottom. Very simple. I just put in 2. And then we have this part inside the parentheses, which I would always recommend if you have a calculator, go ahead and use a calculator and be very careful to type it exactly as it is written. Because as soon as you start making uh, little time-saving tricks, you know, not writing all your parentheses, for example, you're going to get wrong answers. So you have to write all those parentheses so the calculator knows exactly what you want. So this is what I get. 12 plus or minus square root of 4, all divided by 2. And I'm going to try to simplify that square root first before I go anywhere. And I know that the square root of 4 is 2. So I don't say square root of 2. I was about to do that. I say 12 plus or minus 2 over 2. And now let's, let's turn this into two things. Okay, one of them is 12 plus 2 over 2. And one of them is 12 minus 2 over 2. That's what the plus or minus means. And now we simplify each of them. It's like our equation had little baby equations. So we get 14 divided by 2. And over here on this one, we get 10 divided by 2. Well, 14 over 2 is 7. 10 over 2 is 5. So those are my two answers. Okay, it doesn't matter which one you put first. Just make sure you get that comma in there and you say 5 comma 7. I have two integer answers. Now, it was nice that they turned out to be integers. You might get fractions when you try it. But um, just reduce them as best you can and then put them in the answer box like this.